So today is the day that we cage up the tomato plants and I had some questions about my tomato cages so I thought today would be a good day to go over that. Um, right here are um, nine tomato cages all stacked up in their component parts and their component parts are simply these um, little ladder structures. Now uh, these are made out of uh, one by two uh, pressure treated lumber which you get at um, Home Depot or Home, home Improvement Store. Um, the, the long part is um, uh, 48 inches or 4 feet tall. These cross members are 18 inches across and they're spaced at uh, about 1 foot intervals so you end up with a, a 4 rung ladder um, that's about 4 feet tall. And then that's all there is to it. I um, put them together with this uh, battery operated nail gun which uh, is pretty convenient out in the garden uh, using one and a quarter inch brads and that seems to hold everything together pretty well. Um, you could probably bolt them together or wood screw them together and use glue or whatever to make them uh, a little more sturdy but I find that these uh, done this way work pretty well. I made these back in uh, 2002 so they're actually coming into their um, tenth season of service uh, so that's pretty good and um, uh, this year I did have to go through and re-nail them all just to sturdy them back up but uh, other than that they're they're in pretty good shape so let me grab a couple more of these and uh, we'll go cage a tomato okay so here's our uh, um, subject tomato plant you can see it's already about three feet tall um, and I've already got it staked up um, because it's so tall so we actually could have caged this a lot earlier but it's not too late to cage them and all you do is take three of these uh, ladder guys and um, kind of arrange them in a triangle around the plant so that the uh, sides are parallel and touching the long sides that is roughly and um, the, the plant is in the center. So um, once you get them in place, you can kind of push them down in the soil if it's soft enough, or you can uh, use a hammer to uh, tap them into place. And you want to go in about uh, four to six inches so that they're um, anchored pretty well in the, uh, in the ground and won't fall over in the, in the wind or the weight by the weight of the uh, plant itself, which these guys get pretty big, so they get pretty heavy. Okay, then once you've got them pounded in, all you have to do is um, take a little bit of garden twine, and I I like to use the stuff that um, uh, the salvaged from my bales of hay because it's a nice thick. Uh, twine and then you're uh, of course reusing something that um, has uh, been used once already. I guess that makes sense doesn't it? And uh, tie these guys up and you're done. That's all there is to it. One caged tomato. And then uh, once you get them all tied up, if you want to you know, make sure everything's even and level, you can do a few more taps like that. But uh, there you have it. And now all you have to do is, um, as this guy grows, you just sort of um, angle the branches so that they um, uh, are contained by the cage as it grows up. And, uh, it will support the entire weight of this plant uh, through the season. And that's all there is to it. Um, now the nice thing about having it in this uh, triangle configuration just tied on the corners is that when it does come time to um, put it away for the season, you just untie or cut through uh, one of those um, uh, ties and then the whole thing can sort of accordion up and stack just like they were stacked over there in the uh, against the fence um, for easy storage and then next year you just open it back up again and you only have one tie to tie. But <clears throat> let's get along with things and uh, I've got eight more, well now I've got <laughs> nine cages to do so uh, let's do all nine and then we'll be done.
Mission accomplished. Another bed of tomatoes, happily caged up for the season, looking for some fantastic growth. And they'll be able to take it with those cages. <laughs>